What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. In this video, we're going to consider 20 plus different things you can do with a force touch enabled trackpad on the Mac. Let's have a look. You can force click on a word in Safari or in Mail or in any other place to quickly get definitions and other information. You can force click on an address to quickly get a popover that shows you that location in Maps. You can force click on a date and time to add a new event to Calendar. You can force click on a flight number to quickly gain access to that flight's details. And unsurprisingly, you can force click on a tracking number to quickly gain access to the tracking details. You can also force click on a file to quickly open preview mode and force click on the file name to quickly enter rename mode. You can force click on an app in a dock to enter app expose mode and you can force click on a attachment in mail app to quickly enter markup mode, just like that. You can force click on a contact in the sidebar of the messages app to quickly access attachments and details. You can force click on a reminder to quickly access details on that reminder. You can force click on an event to quickly access details of that event. You can force click on the maps app to quickly drop a pin in that location. You can force click in certain areas inside iMovie to access additional options. And you can force click on the rewind and fast forward buttons inside of iMovie to ramp up or ramp down the speed at varying levels. Just like that, pretty cool. Now it's not all about force clicking. You also get haptic feedback on your fingertips when you reach the end of a clip and you try to drag past the end of a clip in iMovie. Now you can also use force click to speed up your zoom levels in the map app. So you can zoom out slow or fast, depending on how hard you press, pretty cool. Now you also get a little notch or haptic feedback when you snap to north as you rotate the compass. And you get similar haptic feedback when you align the spotlight search box to its default position on the desktop, just like this. Now you also get haptic feedback when you align two shapes inside of preview, like this. Now you can speed up scrolling through the photos app by using a force click, and you can also get a haptic feedback response, a notch, when you align to zero using the cropping tool in the photos app, like this. So ladies and gentlemen, that is just a taste of some of the features that a force touch enabled trackpad brings to the table on the Mac. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.